he talks of the, the, the upaya doctrine, what he calls upaya yojana. So these are the through the a series of four four redemptive knowledges. He he develops the entire content of Shaivism. So it is anupaya, shambhuopaya, shaktopaya, and anupaya, anubopaya. Now anupaya. Now, what is he? He integrates this tantric philosophy with Shaivism, with philosophy, and with mainstream philosophy. You can say the philosophy proper of Shaivism and that pratyabhigya. So, this anupaya is pratyabhigya. So, he relates pratyabhigya with anupaya, and of course, the anubhaya are the yogic practices. Shaktopaya is, is 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 the vikalp is, is is the process that is devoted to the vikalp sanskar. Now, this is in fact. Shaktopaya, or what we call, in fact, Kram system, is the most important system of Kashmir Shavism. And that's the beauty of it. Because you see, the, the, the beauty of it lies in the fact that it is not, it, 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 the, the Samadhi or the Moksha is not nirvikalpo. It is only through the Shodhan of the Kalpo you reach the Moksha. And uh, again, you see, now, in, in developing this notion of Agama Tattva and Tantra Tattva, he says, ki, now this system, this Agama is Dutpravaha. And in Dutpravaha, he takes Lakulish Pashupal and Sri Kanta. Lakulish Pashupal represents the Vedic stream, and Sri Kanta represents the Mantra Marga or the, 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 the Shaivism proper. And this is through the, through the fusion of these two, he says, now the Kashmir Shaivism develops. And you see...